This should be an eBay package. It's from BFE Corporation, Cranberry, New Jersey. Whoever that is. Although this says frequency meter, it really is a stable pulse width signal generator. I guess this is a frequency up and down, and then this is duty cycle on a 0 to 100 percent. It's in one of these little standard packages that they put power supplies and signal generators, dummy loads. This is a seller's page. You can read it. Signal generator, pulse width. Yeah. Now, I paid almost $10 for this. I, in checking over my purchase history, I see these things are available for as little as $5. In any event, I bought it from this Super Game hyphen US. And this thing works on 3.3 to 30 volts. 1 hertz to 150 hertz pulse. The amplitude of the pulse is equal to the power supply. So it's just a switching on off. The duty cycle of the pulse is supposedly 0 to 100 percent. So I have it hooked to a uh, 11 volt power supply. Okay, turn the power on and you see it comes up immediately. It has no on off switch. Default is 100 hertz. We'll see if the frequency goes down. It does. And we'll see. Here's a package. It's a Banggood package. It says there's two signal generators in here. So these are little square wave generators. They have basically the same specifications as the signal generators I bought from eBay. The eBay signal generator, square wave generator, uh, has frequency up down buttons and duty cycle up down buttons. The Banggood has the same output specification, 1 hertz to 150 kilohertz, on-off switch and an encoder switch. The Banggood uh, seller's page shows this for $7 plus $2 shipping. And the only difference I can see in function out in, in uh, performance is that this Banggood unit has a normal mode with a frequency of 1 hertz to 150 kilohertz and a duty cycle of 0 to 100 percent and an accuracy of 1 percent or a precise mode with a frequency range of 1 hertz to 15 kilohertz same duty cycle, but an accuracy of a tenth of a percent, if you can trust these accuracies. Here's the eBay variable pulse width square wave generator. Well, pulse generator. Although right now it's outputting square waves, uh, 10 kilohertz. And here it is on the oscilloscope, 10 kilohertz, 10.08 on the oscilloscope frequency meter. It's a nice looking pulse. 
I'll go to 100 kilohertz. I have 100 kilohertz and 50% duty cycle. We're getting slightly rounded edge here. Now the scope is uh, DC coupled. There's no load on the pulse generator. Uh, probe set on times 10. So now I'll take a look at the uh, Banggood device. While I'm making a changeover, let's take a look at Both devices have the same labeling and the red and black markings are mine. Negative output, which is they're calling it ground. PWM is this terminal, ground is this terminal. V plus and then V minus. V minus and ground are at the same level. Pop off the uh, back once. Take a look inside. Okay, now I've got the uh, eBay one on top. That'll be this one. And the Banggood one the bottom. I believe that you'll see these two major components are identical. One's an XYK PWM and the other one is an XY PWM. The eBay unit appears to have been more professionally put together. The uh, Banggood one almost looks like it was hand soldered in some cases. They both have what looks like some sort of output TXD, RXD, and ground. So this is a little uh, unit I got from Banggood. I'm going to power it up again at 11 volts, 100 hertz, 50% duty cycle. Here's the Banggood pulse generator, set at 1 kilohertz, 50% duty cycle, and it's off, and there's no output. I'm going to turn it on, and it actually says on 50%. And this is exactly the same as the uh, eBay device. So here you can see on the little unit it's 100 kilohertz, 50% duty cycle. And if we look at the oscilloscope, we're seeing just the same thing. Now there appears to be a little bit of ringing right here. So if you need a... a uh, square wave or a variable pulse width wave generator. It generates a, a pulsed output equal to the power supply input and has a frequency range of 1 hertz to 150 hertz. Now I don't know why you would want something like this but it, there's something that tickles everybody's fancy. I can think of one use. Would a friend of mine asked me to get something like this to vary the speed of his rotary table on a, a CNC machine, which is driven with a, a stepper motor, and I gave him an eBay stepper motor driver. So that's a look at these two little modules. One from eBay, one from Banggood. I'll actually upload a cleaned up instruction file for this little fellow. 
I'll link it to, I'll give you a link to a PDF. I've taken the, the Chinese and corrected it. It's, the Chinese was lacking in clarity. So you know the routine. If you like this kind of stuff, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my site. Drop me a message. Come back.